points A, B, C, and D lie on a circle with center O. Chord BD and diameter AC intersect at point P. The length of segment OP is 3, the length of segment OC is 15, the length of segment BC is 18, and the length of segment PB is 16. What is the length of segment DC? Right, well, that was a lot of points. This problem really needs a diagram. And good news, it actually comes with one. We don't have to draw our own, and it's even got all the segment lengths labeled. We're looking for segment DC, so let's go ahead and stick a variable on that. It never hurts to have variables. We'll call it X. Okay, first thought. We've got triangles and circles. We've got angles in a circle. Whenever we have angles in a circle, we should be looking for congruent angles and probably similar triangles. And similar triangles are a great way to find side lengths. We're looking for a side length. Seems like a good method to give a try. Angle BAC and BDC are both opening on arc BC, and points A and D are both on the circle, so those are going to be the same angle, right? Same arc, same angle. And just the same way ABD and ACD both open on arc AD, and they both have vertices on the circle. So those angles are also the same. And then we've also got opposing angles in the center, APB and DPC. So all three angles in these triangles, APB and DPC, are the same. And that means the triangles are similar. All right, this is fantastic, right? We've got similar triangles, which we're expecting, and DC is a side length of one of the triangles, which means we've got a really clear route to finding it. We need two things to be able to find DC now. It corresponds to site AB in the other triangle, APB. We don't actually know AB, so we're going to need to find it. And then we also need to know the ratio of similarity between the triangles. All right, they're not the same size, they're just the same shape, so we need to know the ratio of the sizes. Okay, how are we going to find AB? There's actually a triangle in this diagram we haven't talked about yet. It's triangle ABC. And AC is a diameter, right? Point O is a center, and it's on AC which means that ABC is a right triangle. Angle ABC is cutting off exactly half of the circle, which means that angle, the angle is a right angle, it's 90 degrees. Um, and we know side BC is 18, that's right on the diagram. We don't know AC, but that's easy enough to find. OC is 15, that's the radius. So the diameter is two times 15, which is 30. And 18 and 30 should be kind of suspicious looking numbers in a right triangle. 30 is 5 times 6. 18 is 3 times 6. What's our favorite kind of right triangles? We can hope this is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And it's got a side that's 3 and a side that's 5. So it looks like this is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle scaled up by 6. We've got the 3 side and the 5 side. We need the 4 side. so. AB is going to be 4 times 6, which is 24. We can also just do this with the Pythagorean theorem, but then we would have to square 18, and honestly, that sounds hard. So better to look for the factor of 6 there and spot the 3, 4, 5. Awesome. Now we know side AB. We just need to know the ratio of these two triangles. Sides PB and PC are corresponding sides in the two triangles, and we know their lengths. At least we know PB is 16, and we can find PC pretty easily. That's just 3 plus 15, which is 18. Awesome. So now we have our ratio of similarity, which is 16 to 18, and we can write down a little equation with X in it. Because the ratio of all the pairs of sides are going to be the same. That's what it means for them to be similar which means 24 to x, that's ab to dc, is the same as 16 to 18. Awesome. That's just an equation with x in it. We know how to solve those, right? Let's get rid of the fractions, multiply both sides, and divide through by 16 to get x on its own on the left. 24 times 18 divided by 16, which is 
cancel out all those twos, you get three times nine, which is 27. All right, that's the length of segment DC. That's what we were looking for. Let's go ahead and check whether it was one of the answer choices. Look at that right there in the middle. And C is the correct answer. Hi, everybody. This is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.